Now for more reaction from the ground at the DNC, I'm joined by Congresswoman Donna Edwards, representing Maryland's 4th District. Congresswoman Edwards, welcome back to the program. Hi, thank you. It's great to be with you. Great. great to be in Charlotte. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm guessing it really is. Um, I mentioned earlier on the show how the Wall Street Times is, uh, how the, excuse me, how Wall Street is setting a new record this uh, election season with money spent. Are the people you're talking about at the DNC prepared for this onslaught? Well, I think we're preparing. I mean, we know that we're not going to be able to fight them dollar for dollar, but what we don't have in dollars, we make up in boots on the ground. And, and what does this mean for our democracy, this whole concept that the Republicans can base their, their entire electoral strategy on basically 25 billionaires? Well, you know, I think it's very dangerous for us. And as you know, I have been a strong opponent of the way that um, money has played into this system, the decision that the Supreme Court made in Citizens United versus the Federal Elections Commission two years ago. And we are seeing the onslaught in the aftermath of that really bad decision and the impact on our democracy and our elections. I think people are fed up, quite frankly. I think, you know, particularly in some of these swing states, I actually live in um, in suburban Maryland, but we're in the Virginia television market. And so we're exposed to all of those television ads by the super PACs in a swing state. And so I can see what, the, what some of America is experiencing right now. And I have to tell you, I've had it, and I know that people across America have had it. Um, so I, I hope it's a wake-up call for us. Do you think people, do you think the average American is going to realize eventually, sort of the way Californians did with Meg Whitman and Carla Fiorina, you know, who spent just fortunes trying to get themselves elected and then lost, um, do you think the average American, when they see these ads that are sponsored by these nice-sounding front groups for Karl Rove and for the, uh, for the chamber, you know, Americans for bunnies in the field or whatever, you know, uh, Americans for mom and apple pie, that they're going to start looking at those ads and saying, oh, that's that billionaire money. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be believing that. Do you think so? Well, I think part of what they will do, one, you know, they don't know who's running these ads, and people are already starting to ask questions like, who are these people? And they're finding out it's a, a handful of um, billionaires, and it's a little uncomfortable because it's a little greasy. Um, and, and I think that there's an, a tone to them as well that you don't get when somebody like me running for office has to be on my ad, say who I am, and then I, I, I agree to the, to the content of the ad. Right. And so, <laughs> excuse me. I, so I think there's a real opportunity for us to turn the tide, uh, quite frankly. And, you know, there's a point of overload. Um, and we may begin to see that with this election where there's so much money that's been spent that it is too overwhelming and actually doesn't have the kind of power that it might. Yeah, well, let's, let's hope that that's the case. How important was Michelle Obama's speech last night to setting the tone of the DNC? It seems, seems to me like it was a very big deal. Well, I think it was the whole evening. I think what you saw from Democrats in our first night as compared to the Republican convention is that there was a theme throughout the evening um, that led up to the first lady, lady's unbelievably powerful speech. There was an electricity in the arena last night um, with the women members of Congress, you know, standing up for women with individuals speaking about their own struggles, but how that connects to a policy agenda that's about what government can and should, uh, should do. And then the first lady speaking from her heart. And I have to tell you, there probably wasn't a dry eye in the arena because she talked about the president's character and his integrity and what she said is that he's a constant he this is not about politics this is not about gaming the system it's about doing what's right for the american people that's what i heard from the first lady and so the first day was great and it just gets better. Yeah, and I, I would think that that stability that Michelle Obama, that uh, the First Lady Obama, uh, is so brilliantly presented about her husband would be an, a pretty stark contrast to Mr. Flip Flop, uh, Mr. Romney. Congresswoman Donna Edwards, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thank you, too. Really enjoyed it.